Yeah. Do you know anyone else that has what you have now? No, I, I have uh, only heard of people having the solar panels themselves, not the solar roof. Hey everyone, I am northeast of Orlando right now and look at this. Yes, this is a Tesla solar roof. I met a Tesla enthusiast at a meetup that I held near Titusville and he had a shingle in his trunk. He showed me some pictures of this so I thought we should check this out in person. Not a lot of people in Florida have a full Tesla solar roof so I wanted to learn more about it and also show you guys because I figured you'd be interested. We're calling you Roof Bob. <laughs> roof Bob, Tesla Roof Bob. So show me what you showed me in your trunk last night. Oh, time. all right. It was in the body. Let's, <laughs> do, <laughs> no, not this time anyway. Let me uh, crack her open real quick. Voila. So we have the Tesla solar shingles. First of all, why, when did you transition to this? And the install was in November of 2021. Oh wow, and how do you like it? Oh, it's awesome so far. I mean, I can't complain at all. It's uh, just a whole new experience <laughs> with the glass roof and uh, generating my own energy at this point, so. Yeah, why did you switch? Why did I switch? Yeah, what made you want to do this? Uh, the, the roof had some age to it, uh, probably 2005 was when it was replaced last and it really wasn't even replaced, it was just the shingles put on top of course. So I said why do I want to put on a new roof and put holes in it with solar panels. I said the solar shingles look amazing and it's just an efficient setup so let me go that route. Did you install them? Tesla did it. They, cool. they yeah. Holy it, crap. <laughs> yes, Tesla uh, arranged, coordinated everything, dropped off all the equipment in the yard, and they were in and out within a week. Wow. It was a, a very quick install. So you were telling me you don't think a lot of people in Florida have these right now. No, um, I can't speak for all of Florida, but I know for my county in particular, when I had the inspection done. The county inspector had no idea what it was. They'd never seen it before. So oh my gosh. At, at least in my county, I, I believe to be the first one to have it. So So if you were to sell me on these, I mean, what <laughs> what's so great about them? Well, uh, once I started looking at price uh, in comparison to a new roof with solar panels on it, uh, and then just going full solar roof, it was a no brainer. There was like a few thousand dollar difference, maybe. So with a 25 year warranty uh, with the system and of course the battery backup, so I have two power walls to go with it, uh, it was, it is more beneficial uh, and sleek. I mean, it looks a whole lot better than panels and there's a neighbor across the street that just got panels installed. So what was your biggest concern when switching to this? Oh, biggest concern. Um, I guess, am I going to generate enough energy? And? <laughs> uh, time will tell, uh, but for, for right now, I'm, I'm not 100% offset okay. on, the, on my usage in comparison to energy generation. Why is that surprising to me? Is that surprising? Well, it really comes down to uh, what you're running in the house and for me being an IT guy we've got a lot of equipment that we've got here okay. and uh, I have a roommate who's home full-time okay. uh, unfortunately the house isn't completely up to date so I have like a 1980s air conditioning that's on its last leg so mm. there's a few things I still have to tweak myself to to get my energy consumption down so since this but. isn't a sales pitch what is the biggest pro and biggest con you've had with mm the shingles well the 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 pro I would say uh, being just how convenient the system is and the installation of it so if a shingle was to break or something like that they just come right out and pop it up and put a new one in it doesn't take much to to replace it where if you have a typical roof with so with shingles or the solar panels. I mean, I can't even imagine what they would have to do to tear it up to yeah. 
Yeah. You know, that, so that convenience in the life of the, the roof itself is going to last for a while. Uh, the con, I, to me, would be need more research uh, as far as preparation for purchasing the system. So I didn't realize it, but when net metering came into play with my uh, power company, they based my usage on the last year of the home. So me, unfortunately, I was not living in the house for the last three years. And as far as they were concerned, I was only using 4,000 kilowatts for an entire year. So the system was built to accommodate the previous year. And I had to call up my company and arrange to get the system upgraded in order to accommodate for future use. And I capped it at 10 kilowatt system because once you start going above 11 kilowatts, they want you to have a million dollar policy on the house, which I wasn't aware of wow. beforehand either. So just uh, a little more information beforehand. Would, would have you been still good. have gone with it though? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, being uh, a Tesla vehicle owner and shareholder, uh, I figure it's also another way to invest in the company. Right, totally. So for the future, yeah. Um, yeah, any like tips or tricks to for someone who is totally uninformed, maybe to save them some hassle. I guess do your research, but anything else that was like a hiccup that someone could avoid? Oh yeah, uh, being the area that I'm in, it's uh, old oak community basically. So I had a number of trees on the property that were overhanging the roof mm. that I unfortunately had to cut mm. in order to be able to generate the energy that I wanted to generate. So, uh, Sorry, in hindsight, uh, I would love to have avoided having to cut the trees and just moved the roof over to an open area. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So obviously I would have to have a different structure yeah, to do definitely. that, uh, but you got to work with what you got. So how many shingles total? Oh, uh, I would have to look at the paperwork to give you an exact number, but uh, I think it was 90 something. And you said they're not extent. all active no, solar correct. shingles. No, correct. So this, this is a solar shingle. So it has the solar panels built in and then they also have just plain glass panels mm. at, at the same length. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, they totally. Blending. So about that half of the roof i would say is currently solar shingles and what then what the neighbors said oh well there's been a number of them to stop by and talk to me on the during the install uh wanting to know hey what's going on that's the new system it looks really cool i love the look of it uh, i give them my referral code of course so yeah <laughs> if they decide to go down that path then oh, they what can is your referral code? oh well I'll, I'll have to share that with okay. you it's a cool. Cool. <laughs> we'll, put it, we'll put it in the description. Yeah, that sounds awesome. So we've got two power walls here, uh, 13 and a half kilowatts each. Um, and the, this is the full electrical uh, install. The inverter is built in uh, on the newer generation of the power wall. Um, one thing that I would have liked would the power walls being inside the garage. Um, was that not a possibility? So there was some issues with the uh, clearance as far as the vehicles being able to get in and uh, they would want to make sure everything's going to be safe. So uh, they said it's better to be out here. They're rated for outside. So now if you were wondering, this roof has a class F wind rating. That is the highest rating. It also has a class three hail rating. Yeah which would in our area account for a category five hurricane. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Is that something that worried you about the? Um, it, it came up in question at first, but then when I saw the F rating on the website and uh, compared it to other shingles or slate systems, I was like, well, it's, it, it's at the same, if not better, than what you typically get. So 
And of course, the beautiful video they have when they're throwing hail at it and it's not breaking. With a 10 kilowatt system with the current uh, sun, I'm getting about between 30 and 40 kilowatts at, uh, per day. Uh, so, of course, being in Florida, we've got our afternoon showers and whatnot, so it varies, but it, uh, it's a good amount of energy considering that I probably have uh, some trees that I could cut in the front as well to get, get more juice. I could probably get about 60 kilowatts a day if I uh, trimmed back another couple of trees. Point up, uh, show and tell. There's only one hole that has to go between here inside the attic and then up into the roof. So all the shingles interconnect and they come down into one hole and then into the inverter mm. at that point. Where, where was the team from that came here? Oh, they were all Tesla employees. I, I was under the impression I was going to get contractors through Tesla, but they're uh -huh. all Tesla employees, and they were all a great bunch of guys. Yeah. Do you know anyone else that has what you have now? No, I, I have uh, only heard of people having the solar panels themselves, not the solar roof. Really? Yes. Wow. So. You're guinea pig. Yeah. <laughs> You're your own For guinea sure. Pig. And 25 years of warranty, so. Uh, those are the cicadas. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. It was done in a week. Okay. Uh, the thing that held them back for the most part was getting a few little parts. Like uh, there was some flashing required for the vents for my bathrooms that they didn't get it right away. So they had to work around that as much as they could. When it got on site, they were like done the next so day. They, they had to strip the old roof. So they stripped the entire roof down to the wood. They even took some wood up and replaced it with panels because of some rot here and there or whatnot. Uh, and they have to have a secure foundation in order to put everything on. But then they just roll out a laminate that actually has a grid on it where they put the, sh single, the shingles exactly down and then they just nail in two spots and then they just clamp them on. I mean, it was a really efficient system to see. You know, once they had, had that up there, then the panels went on quick. Oh yeah, but yeah. They had, the, they had right. the whole roof stripped. They had all the uh, laminate down in the same day, and then they came out the next day just to. And the electrical, how long did it take them to put this in? This was a whole day. Uh, that was one day. One right? day. Yep. Yeah. The longest thing is the inspections, <laughs> getting the inspectors out, the coordination because they had to change my meter so I can net meter yep. back to the power company. The inspection and FPL probably... FPL, FPL was involved, they yes. They their feet on it. So yeah. The and, city has to come out. And the county had problems with FPL doing work differently, yeah. so... How many weeks did it take before you get turned on? Oh, full... Let's see. I think I was about four or five weeks, maybe. Yeah, I was um, is I think it took a month or so in order to coordinate everybody to get back on site because they had to crack the uh, meter again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. It was, that part was interesting. And coordinating everybody and getting everybody here was the worst part of it. How was it during the winter? Oh, uh, <laughs> they were pretty happy. The guys that were here working uh, on the roof, they weren't sweating or anything. Mm -hmm. So that was good for them. And I was like, I gotta see this in person. What is that noise? Cicadas. Holy. It's okay. Because the sun's going down. Oh my god. Okay, let's do it again. Three, two, one. 